Look, I, I really am just so happy baseball's back. Like, baseball being back is so incredible. It, oh. It's just, it feels so good. It's the best. It's the best ever, it, man. I love it. It really is the best, man. It's not even warm here yet, so I'm like kind of kind of like puzzled. Do I go to a game in freezing cold weather or not? I went to a game in freezing cold weather last year, but have maybe they, not two years in a row. Have they played much at home yet, Casey? They just got home yesterday, and I thought about going. I really did. But then the seats that I were that I was looking at, the deal – went away on SeatGeek. So I was like, well, it was such a good deal that that I wanted to, even when it's not been great weather. But the other deals that I found yesterday when I was really thinking about it didn't come through. So I was like, eh, maybe I'll maybe I'll hold off. But would it nice would be to, good to nice to see them score. They put up 10 didn't yesterday, didn't they? They put up 10, uh eight spot in the seventh inning against the White Sox, which is not saying much. <laughs> but um, but it was good to see a Mike Soroka out on the mound for the White Sox. You know, nothing crazy, but it was a quality start. Two earned runs, six innings. So he's got that going for him. I didn't even realize. I forgot that he got, he got traded there, right? I forgot. Yeah, the Braves sent him as well as Jared Schuster and a couple other guys. Uh, Nicky Lopez included for Aaron Bummer. Right, Which, that uh, was it. That was like the first, the first move of the off season, pretty much. Yeah, and everybody's like, "What the hell are we doing? What the hell are the Braves doing?" I'm like, I, I like it. They're all like, "What like, a bummer." <laughs> I know, and <laughs> no, I'm glad you said that. Glad you said that because that's an excellent pun. And people were saying that when he gave up a couple runs against the Phillies to give up a lead, but it was like, P- dude, people on Twitter just don't get it. A lot of them don't get it. Just like he gave up some weak content contact, just hit in the right spots for the Phillies. So it's like, man, he's going to turn around. No, it's going to turn around. That means he's awful, right? That means somebody right? scored when he was pitching. So he's awful. He's awful. They hit the ball. They hit the ball. The Phillies hit the ball, which should never happen if you want to be successful. People getting yeah, paid but, tens of millions of dollars to hit a ball did what they're supposed to do. It's crazy. Yeah, crazy, <laughs> crazy. Has there you've been watching a lot? Right? I've been watching a decent amount. Yeah, I watch. Uh, I mean, I watch like as almost every single second of the Blue Jays so far, which has been <laughs> yeah. There's been some highs, but mo- mostly lows. <laughs> I would like to see some more highs. Me too. I I want to see. Uh, I want to get on the Twitter timeline. And uh, my Twitter is going to be a roller coaster this season. It is. And I feel like your texts are going to be a roller coaster too, (laughs) which I'm looking forward to. You know, unless they figure it out for a bit, like there's always a chance they have a good month where they go like 15 and eight or whatever in a month or something like that, or whatever many games. Yeah. I mean, that's a good month, but who knows? That's how they started last year. Like they, they start off kind of poor the first five games and then they, they had like, they were 18 and 10. I think in April and then they were brutal in May and just, I mean, we made the playoffs, but never quite got back to it. But what about you? How much, how much have you been watching for just baseball in general? Um, I watched quite a bit on Sunday. I've watched the opening day. I try to watch a little bit of everyone. I watched, unfortunately, I watched the pirates and the Marlins, the end of that game. And on opening day, the extra innings game. And my God, there was some like sloppy baseball being played. Some very sloppy, like base running decisions. And to credit the players, like a lot of it could have been third base coach. And I think one play specifically was, I don't remember what play, but also uh, Pirates. Pirates are surprising me so far. Just, I mean, they've gotten off to a great start, six and one. Granted, part of those wins are against the Marlins, who are. Oh, and eight. What's the opposite <laughs> of undefeated? Fully defeated? Fully, they have been winless. Yeah. Fully defeated. Um, yeah. Buy or sell. <sighs> buy or sell. Are the Pirates for real? I want to buy it. I think I want to buy it. I, I think I, I do. I think that I think they feel more real right now than they did at this point last year. <laughs> Especially if. The, 
They got they off got a off really to... hot start last year, and then they like, faced, I think, Tampa and Toronto, and got swept back to back, and then they just went just straight down. So I mean, this is with Mitch Keller not even finding it yet, and O'Neill Cruz is not even like hitting compared to the a lot of that lineup. I, I was taking a look today, and Michael A. Taylor hitting the ball pretty well for them. Jared Jones, one of that that rookie starter the other day, he threw he threw the ball extremely well. They don't even have Paul Skeens up yet, who arguably should be in the majors right now, in my opinion. So it just seems a little bit more real than it did last year, especially if O'Neill Cruz does not get hurt and no one else really gets hurt to that kind of severity, if that makes sense. What yeah. do you think? I don't buy it. I don't know. They, I just don't. I don't know. I still think they're they're just a ways away. Even if Skeens was up and everybody's like kind of up and playing to their potential, I don't know. I just something about the man. I don't know. Maybe I just. I just. I don't. They really have a lot of faith in that team. They have but, been disappointing for so long. So that is fair. Yeah. Well, like they. They're just. I don't know. I don't buy it. I didn't buy it last year. I don't buy it this year. I mean, they're playing Baltimore today, so that'll be a test. Um, true, true. Baltimore's looking, or Corbin Burns especially, looking great for yeah, he Baltimore. Liked, I didn't see his second start, but I watched some of that first start against the Angels where thought maybe it was going to be close when Mike Trout hit the first homer of the year. Or, well, I guess not first homer of the North American <laughs> baseball season. I'm um, calling it. I'm calling it the first real homer because it's like <laughs> – Everybody forgets. I know this whole series counts. Like I know that series counts and it goes on the record, but it's just like it would feel more real if it was a couple days before the opening, yeah, opening it was, day. It's weird that it was like a whole week before while everybody I else. I kind of get it. Yeah. It's was still playing it is weird. Spring training games. I get it because like travel time sleep schedules yeah i don't know what the time is there like how like the time zone is i don't know what it is but it seems like it would be a big difference at least 10 hours so i can imagine if they had that soul series like two days before opening day and it's just like yo we are messed up because of this (laughs) but i it's funny though cuz Mike Trout hit that first home run and then the Angels gave it away and lost that game in like the most Angels way possible. Just like they that was the only hit Corbin Burns gave up. He struck out 11 <laughs> and they went on to lose by like 9. Yeah. Wild wild game. Yeah, I think I might have to What's the Angels record right now after what like the first week? You're going to be surprised. You're going to they be won surprised. a couple. Are they above 500? Yeah. 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 I don't know. Again, I mean, I, I, picked, the I picked them to finish ahead of Seattle this year. And when we did our preview, so I don't, I mean, I don't know. Seattle. You're off to a good start. Where, why? Show me the standings, MLB.com. What the heck? I got an itch on my nose. Sorry, fans. Yeah, four, four and two. Nose. They're four and two. Same record as Texas right now. I mean, obviously, whatever. Yeah. It's early. It's never yep. too early to bash the Blue Jays for playing the same way they've played for the last two, I and, feel half, like it is. two and a half seasons. I feel it's like not. it is. It's not. <laughs> I've, Where's the law? Is there a law no. on this or something? Yeah, is there something my carved personal and law in stone that states that? When I see this in the first week of the season, I know it's going to come back around at the end of the season. It's happened like four years in a row. Okay. That gives it a little there, bit of merit. It's just, I just feel like the Jays are in a spot where just like for some reason, it's just not going to, it's just not going to go right. Like when it all comes down to it, like 2021, we had best offense in the league. We missed the playoffs by one game, you know, whatever it's before they expanded it, but we missed by one game, 2022. It's the what eight to one loss in the wild card. I thought that was last year. No, 
Eight one versus Seattle was twenty two, and then twenty three last year was in Minnesota, where we were just like the runners in scoring position, worst team of all time. Basically, like we just guys on base constantly never scored runs. So I don't know. I that was rough. <laughs> And every year it's been like the first couple series of the year. I've just been like, nope, this ain't it. Like it's just something needs something big needs to change. And whatever. Ho- like hopefully I'm I'm wrong. As I say this, Vlad just strikes out again today for I think the third time. Just swinging at pitches Yikes. out of the zone. Like these guys Has are there, starting. I don't know. Maybe they'll turn around. Maybe they will. We'll see. It's still early. But is there any <laughs> Anyone that is um, any other team that just kind of stood out to you, or any players that maybe we didn't discuss or have are not like super popular that are that's standing out to you? Um, Or maybe something that has happened that is that was like totally unexpected or like the opposite of what we thought. I don't know about the opposite. I mean, like Detroit, we thought Detroit was going to be good. Again, like Detroit's a team that hasn't really been tested, I would say. Like, I mean, they like them. Yeah, they played the Mets. I mean, they're playing Oakland right now. So it's like. True. It is what it is with them. But like I do. And I think we're both on the same page with this. I do think the Tigers are really good. Cleveland actually probably has been a big surprise with the amount of runs they've been scoring. I keep looking. I'm glad like, you said the Cleveland like they, or they Guardians. Beat, my bad. They beat George Kirby eight nothing. <laughs> and like they scored That's eight crazy. In like three innings on him and chased him out of the game early. Like not what you would George expect. George Kirby's yeah, like the George best, Kirby. I feel like is a lot pitcher. of people's Cy Young pick. Yeah, I would say I think he's like the best pitcher in that staff. And like, I think it's in the arguably the best staff in baseball, right? Yeah, it's supposed to be. They aren't pitching like it right now, but I mean, it is early. Louis, I mean, they got George Kirby got rocked that start, but is, I mean, it's going to take like five starts to really get a good idea of like where we're at. Luis Castillo didn't get off to a hot start. Um, dude, Shane Bieber, I thought he was done or like on the <laughs> wrong path, but dude, he is shoving. 20 strikeouts in 12 innings. I mean, of course, one of those starts was against Oakland. But what else are you <laughs> supposed to do? What else are you supposed to do? Uh, against Oakland or the Sacramento yeah. Athletics? Yes, yeah, seriously. The <laughs> SAC A's. <laughs> we can get into that, too. Um, yeah, geez. Yeah, that's. I mean, it's nice to see, like, Cleveland, I pitching-wise, they're they're good. I think people still don't really realize how good that pitching staff is. Um, and the potential that Logan they have, Allen. I think, I think they could at the end of the year. Ooh, maybe this will be a hot take, but it's like at the end of the year, overall pitching staffs, so they might be. I won't. I don't want to say ahead of Seattle. They'll be right there. I think we shouldn't be surprised by this. Possibly like we might be surprised, but I in the AL. I yeah, wouldn't I mean, surprise if, me. They're if Shane good. Bieber is. Uh, legit if back to his like 2020 Cy Young form or 2021 form I think there's a solid chance that like Tristan McKenzie turns it around he he gets back to his form before he got hurt then I mean that that team is going to be great especially if they get some offensive production from guys not named Josh Naylor and Jose Ramirez and apparently Stephen Kwan has like really increased his just strength he put on a little bit of weight he's been hitting the ball a little bit someone i think i watched a youtube video someone said that his average exit velo is up like six miles an hour that's not a small change like you go from i don't know what the average is but six miles an hour is a big increase yeah especially for a guy like steven kwan like you're not expecting him to like hit for much power he's more of a slap single steal a base maybe get some you know doubles in the gap or down the line kind of guy but i mean he's got yeah i know he's hit at least one homer already this year yeah and just like that's that's nuts that's nuts but like it's uh even if they perform even if they have a great record at the deadline 
Like I don't have confidence in their owner or their GM to really like capitalize or bring anyone in at the deadline with how they've handled things the last couple of years. Maybe if they're first in the division, but I feel like only then <laughs> will they do something to maybe put them over the hump at the deadline. I know it's like really way early to be talking about the trade deadline, but yeah, a lot's going to yeah. happen between now and then, but they're the, the guardians track record is not let's load up at the deadline. <laughs> no, it's more like let's unload our, uh, we're starting to sink. So let's throw every piece of debris. We can all the chairs overboard. Let's, let's get the band out here. Let's get the violins queued up. Let's get the cellos nice and tuned, and we're going to start playing some sad, <laughs> sad songs as we go down. I want to look, even at 2016, trade deadline's what, in like July usually? Yeah, I, I guess they August? pushed, they changed it, didn't they? I guess it's like August 1st or 2nd now. I'm trying to... I don't know. I don't know now. I'm very... Well, because they also, they, like, they don't have that like waiver trade let deadline that was yep. after uh i'm just looking 2016 the year they went to the world series if they like made any moves and it doesn't really look like it um no Me like too. they I'm acquired looking. coco crisp on august 31st wasn't like f famous waiver um trades and I, I think larry walker was a waiver pickup for the Cardinals at one point way back in the day. Yeah, like they didn't they didn't bring in anybody really that year on a year that they I mean their team was good. Their pitching was really good. Whatever, but not a team. You think when you're like on the path to potentially the World Series, you're gonna always like look to add a little bit extra, but you would who think knows? you would who think knows? or maybe they tried and just couldn't pull through. Um one dude, one person that is looking really, really good so far is Christian Yelich. Is he's he? been looking pretty good? I haven't watched yeah. much Brewers ball yet. I watched a little bit of the Mets Brewers, and I was actually watching live when the whole Reese Hoskins slide happened. Ooh, yeah. Let's get. I want your. Th that was wild. What do you man. think? Of, what did you think about that? Was it a bad slide? Was it a? It didn't look that I bad to me when I watched it. I don't know. It looked bad because Jeff McNeil didn't move when he could have moved. He bobbled the ball a little bit and maybe like, I don't know, maybe it was a little bit late. But at the same time, it's not like he slid six feet to the left of the bag trying to take him out. And like a, a good point is, you know, a lot of people are saying that he spiked Jeff McNeil's right ankle. But at the same time, like, I don't think he expects Jeff McNeil to to stand there. Yeah, he he didn't really move, so I don't really. If I don't know, I I just think there should not have been that big of a reaction. Yeah, they. I think the Mets way overreacted, and then it, I think it's just perfectly fitting and kind of hilarious that Reese Hoskins then just like decided to say like I'm your dad and just like drive in all Pretty the runs much. hit a home run was it Dude, the next day it was the next day and that's when like after he does all this that's when the Mets decide to that was when they threw throw his back him. yeah that's terrible that's yeah. so lame Bush. And I don't, you know, I don't know if that was uh, the pitcher's idea or someone else called for it, but that is so lame. And like, yeah. it, it he threw at his head basically, or it was up there from that angle. Like, you can't really see how close it was to his head, but it wasn't like near his thigh or butt, which is where you're supposed to do it. Straight for the head, apparently. So, no, apparently that's so lame. That's weak. <laughs> yeah. Uh yeah, it was it was lame. Super lame. Really lame. But it, Reese Hoskins is looking good though. He's hitting the ball pretty well. Love to see that. Yeah, I feel like everybody 
Although Justin Turner has been pretty decent this year, but I was like every everybody that was on the Jays uh, list as far as like DH guys has all been doing pretty well. Like word um, Hoskins been looking not bad. I mean, Solaire's been been all right. Uh, Solaire's been pretty good. I don't think pretty JD Martinez good. has played it all yet. Uh, no, he's in the uh, he's still in the minors. Service time manipulation. <laughs> the uh, the former Blue Jays are also going off lately. Matt Chapman had like a two homer game in his first game. Lourdes he Gurriel has been re- on fire. Um, Teoscar Hernandez. I'm yeah, you, he's got four home runs. I'm going to message you every wild. time he hits a home run. <laughs> I'll respond when I'm not asleep. <laughs> At, they, <laughs> they play so late. Yeah, like, I live kind of West Coast ish, so like I get, <laughs> but I'll, like, I watch a lot of Dodgers games because they're always the last game of the day and night, like pretty much every time. It's always them playing. He always decides to hit him when I work the next day. That's the problem. <laughs> well, maybe so anytime I, have maybe if I start working today. less, he won't hit as many home runs. That's, yeah, I mean, maybe. So maybe, maybe. He's Maybe. got four, and then I mean, obviously, like Mookie's just been crazy. Mookie Betts is off to one of the hottest starts I've what ever seen. What is his deal? He what said, is his deal? I really blew it, letting Acuna win MVP last year. Nobody's going to touch it. Become he like I, it's the crazy. greatest hitter. I of just all time. don't. He is getting better. He's he's getting better, man. It's crazy. He's already got nine walks too. He's walked nine times. His on base percentage is five ninety five right now. That is, and, yeah, uh, it's crazy. It's crazy. His OPS is almost seventeen hundred. OPS plus is three thirty nine. So he's, um, you know, like three hundred percent better than league average right now. Oh, that team is at, just. At least. I mean, they're losing right now as we, as we're talking. But that Dodgers team, man. Ugh. Yeah, they look Yikes. really, really good. Uh, who pitched today for them? Was it a Bobby Miller start? Bobby Miller started. I think they're losing like six to two right now. Oh, but yeah, Bobby surprised. Miller started today. Um, yeah, that NL Jeez. West man, it's like I don't know what's gonna. I mean, I, I still think it's gonna be one, two Dodgers, Diamondbacks, but who Yo, knows? Miguel Rojas. Miguel Rojas hitting two home runs. <laughs> Maggie Who Rowe. thought that was like what happened? Denelson Lamette, three scoreless innings for them in relief. He was the one of the worst pitchers in baseball a couple years ago. Or <laughs> this is all whatever. This is all they do. They just they oh, just maximize man, guys. The Dodgers just maximize guys' potential. It's ridiculous. It's like almost guaranteed. Like you come to the Dodgers, you're gonna have a pretty good year crazy credit it's to them crazy. like <laughs> they're training yeah. and coaching and everything it's like all right okay i see you yep yep i mean this is all with show here tawny just hitting his first home run the other day yeah and then you see all so, the, the aftermath from what? otani's first home run all everything that's going on that's, right now. that's nuts like i don't know how much truth there is to what anyone is saying really yeah i don't know i i feel like i mean i think there's a lot of truth to everybody's side of it true i I don't really i'm not i don't know i'm not a big fan i I saw like this whole home run thing and players trying to get the ball back and i would seems like sorry go ahead I would consider it a little bit different if it was like his first career home run, but his first home run with the Dodgers. I mean, like I I don't remember um, anyone else going to a new team and them like trying to retrieve their first home run ball. Like that didn't, I don't, as far as I know, that didn't happen when Josh Donaldson signed a one year deal with the Braves and (laughs) they tried to get his first home run. (laughs) So I I don't, I don't know if I, if you can compare a 34 year old Josh Donaldson with Shohei Otani in his prime, but definitely can't, <laughs> but still like former MVP. I don't really know who else That's I can true. Really like maybe compare if, if, it like, to. If, and that was while he was good. I wonder if like, like Harper's first Philly home run, if that, 
if anything happened with that. Yeah, there hasn't really, I feel like there hasn't been much, like, there's usually not so much drama surrounding this kind of stuff. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know who's, like, more weird. to blame them, like... You would think and that if you really want the ball that bad as a player, you would be fine just meeting somebody for like five minutes. Like I don't that part of it, I don't really get. Like I know yeah. heard, there were stories of that with like Mark McGuire, I think at one point, one of his big home runs that like yeah they got like some signed stuff, but he's like no, I will not go like meet this person. And it's like that's weird. Everybody's paying to be there, like to have an ex like not that they think they're gonna have that experience, but like you know. Catching a foul ball is even cool, let alone like getting a home run from Otani. <laughs> yeah. Um, and I don't know, like, I don't know if that ball would necessarily, like, people, I know, you know who Ken Golden is, like the Golden Auctions dude? Don't know that. So guy. he runs like a uh, auction site for sports memorabilia and stuff. One of the probably like one of the most reputable ones. Uh, anyway, he like tweeted, he's like, I think that ball was probably in the like 100K range. Um, Damn. which I'm like, that's kind of crazy. Maybe like, it was a big deal then. Like, yeah, because yeah, some people are like, oh, that ball's worth a million dollars. I'm like, that ball's not worth a million dollars. No like, shot. 100k, I could like, I could see. There's some big time Otani fans and big time Dodger fans. Um, very true, very true. A lot of history there. But I don't know. Oh, like, you got to put some of the blame on the fan. Like, if they're like, it sound it sounds like there's a lot of pressure on them be like give us this ball and this is all you get and whatever but you know like i think like they True. did yep. they, they agreed to it it sounds like i don't know who i don't really know who to i believe. just don't understand why they would tweet out like yeah show your tawny met the fan and then the fan tweets out like yeah he never met me yeah. like if he if he never met you like why tweet it out that's just yeah super lame it just it's not a good look. Like with everything that's been going on with Otani this, <laughs> this season like, so far, it's just like another thing that I think is like making people just kind of not look yeah, at him the same. Yeah, I I think his reputation has taken a bit of a hit over the last month. Yeah, and it's not what you want. You if know. you're Major League Baseball, you want your biggest star in the world to be the biggest star in the world. It doesn't have to be like yeah. su super squeaky clean, but you know, no. <laughs> you don't want him no. to have this constant like bad looks, but I don't know. No. I mean, and by the way, Josh Thompson was the first guy I thought of in that situation. <laughs> just the just the want to point out somebody who's just played it for was the first person. Team. Yeah, Josh Donaldson, who is like semi, you know, semi decent, semi good. But it's it's, so it's kind of nuts. How many teams Donaldson ended up playing for in like the last four years? Played for a lot. I forget that he, lot. that like, that the Jays traded him to Cleveland. I forgot he even played in Cleveland. Yeah, I know. For like half a year or whatever. Cleveland, Atlanta, Minnesota, New York, and Milwaukee all in like, what, four years, five years? Crazy. Crazy. His uh, bad drop when he hit this one bomb in Oakland was awesome. Just like the, the side view of it, it, it was so cool. So when, cool. like, when he was playing. For Oakland or when he was with the yes, yes, oh, yeah. when he was playing for Oakland, yes, it was awesome. But he's had um, some, he's had some pretty big time home runs. Yeah, big facts. Big and he's facts. had some big time bat flips on balls that were like not even at the warning track. <laughs> true, true. Uh, what else is going on in the league right now? The Rockies won a game. the The Oakland, speaking of Oakland, them sending down. Estiri Ruiz after the opening series and saying he needs to work on getting on base is pretty wild. <laughs> and then the same thing, Brent Rooker's in AAA. I didn't know that. Is it? And what? there's, yeah. Brent Rooker. I yeah. Think. He was an all-star last year. But then they're saying that the reason they sent those two down is because they wore bracelets that were like anti ownership or something, something along those lines. They must have called Rooker back up because he hit a home run today. Oh, really? My bad. No, that's all right. I don't know if he went, if he came back or what, but yeah, he. he Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe Abraham wasn't. Toro also hitting a home run, but they're losing. 
five four to oh. Detroit right now. But they're threatening in the ninth, top of the ninth. Runners on first and second, two down. Zach Geloff up to bat. Can he do something? Probably not, but we'll find he out. He hasn't gotten off to a great start, but dude, like sending down Estre Ruiz, telling him he needs to work on getting on base when he was three for seven with one strikeout in the opening series. Yeah, what even was like the wristband stuff all about? It was protesting something. I think it might have been like, don't quote me on this, I but I think it might have been it. Pro, like protesting the move or oh. ownership or something like that. So I'm not sure what if that there's any truth to that. So take that with a grain of salt for me. But I think it's just nuts. It, just sending him down in general is just telling him he needs to work on getting on base. Have you seen your own lineup? <laughs> yeah, it's not great. Yeah. Like, this is nuts. Like, what was the problem last year? Why'd you let him stay up last year then? If it's for the same, I just, if it's for his development, why play him the full year last year? Yeah, it doesn't make sense. It's not like you're better. You didn't like improve at his positions or anything to, no, (laughs) you didn't bring anybody in. (laughs) So, no, it's pathetic. Let him play. It's just, Pathetic. Sell the team. They lose 5 4. Oakland falls to 1 7. Detroit up to 6 1 on the season right now. Detroit Tigers, man. They're looking all right. Yeah, I want to see what happens when they play like a a top, top team. But you never know. I mean, they got good young pitching, they got good young hitting. They They got a solid. They do. Solid squad, solid squad. Phillies off to their normal Philly start. <laughs> Slow starters. They'll probably yeah, go on a crazy real. run in August. And holy Br- Dart Bryce and Harper Marshall just got a hit. I'm like in shock right now. Nice. Nice. Bryce Harper. Nice. What didn't he didn't get off to the best start, but then he was like, whatever. I'm just gonna get my stats up there with uh one game. Yeah, 0 for 11, I think, to start or something like that. And then uh, and then three home run game, including a grand slam. Not bad, not a bad way to break the slump. Not bad whatsoever. Ne- they need to get some guys hitting in that lineup, though. Like uh, Trey Turner has not gotten off to the best start. I was hoping he'd kind of get off to like where he left off last year, but he so far two seventeen average, five twenty five OPS. Uh, Brandon Marsh, though, Brandon Marsh looking really really good. He uh, hit a two run shot off of Spencer Strider as well. I mean, he, he's quietly been really good the past year or so. Kyle Schwarber actually has a solid average, 280. So For expect, the, yeah, OPS 828. So expect his OPS to climb a little bit and his batting average to plummet. Is Kyle Schwarber going to hit Which over, positive. over 200 this year? I think he will actually, but I don't think he hits forty-seven bombs. I I think he hits like thirty in the thirty-five to forty range. Who leads the Phillies and homers this year? Still him, Harper. Uh, I want to. I really want to say Harper. I don't know though. I think I think Kyle. I think when the season is over, if they both are healthy for the most part. <laughs> They finish within like two or three homers of each other. All right. I think. But overall, Bryce will have the better season. Overall. Yeah. Oh. Fielding. Yeah. Just more. You get more. You get a lot more. A ton more. That shouldn't even be a question. Yeah. Like or it shouldn't even be a topic of the debate. year. Two time get- MVP versus like guy who hits home runs and takes some yeah. walks. <laughs> Strikes yeah. out 210 <laughs> times a year. Yeah, <laughs> and much, uh, I mean, I know he plays first base right now, but I mean, Kyle Schwarber's a DH, and Bryce Harper is going to give you, like, I would not be surprised if he won a gold glove. Yeah, he's good. He's he's good, and I haven't seen him really play first base. I, I saw him fall over the railing, but that just means he's a go-getter, and I, I just think he's he's that type of dude that's going to try his best to make every single play. Yeah. And he has oh, yeah. athletic ability. So he's going to 
He's going to be there. I love Brandon. He's going to at least be a finalist. I do too. I can't believe when I was younger that I didn't really like him all that much when he played for the Nats, but here we are. I just can't believe the amount of people that like for years were like Bryce Harper's overrated. I'm like, how? Like, show me where he's overrated. (laughs) Show me where. (laughs) I was that guy in the first couple years, but I was also not understanding a lot of other statistics. And also the thing that really – I think what really made a lot of people consider Bryce Harper underrated or overrated is because the baseball world kept like comparing him and Trout because they were both young. They were both coming up with the team and like Mike Trout was blowing him out of the water and everything. But Mike Trout yeah. is a generational player. Yeah, like- by So it's like that's unfair. It, it set Bryce Harper up to be overrated. It's not his fault. That's that's true. I mean, Mike, my, my, it's it's funny now, like whatever, 12 years later from when they kind of both or when Trout came in the league. Oh, sorry. Did Otani just go yard? He did. Otani. Oh, wow. OK. Two run shot. Um, yeah, I mean, Trout, if he can stay relatively healthy for the next five years, could go down as like the best baseball player of all time. One, one of, of yeah, one, one of. of I mean, sure. I think he's already he's already like top. He's 10, already one of. Yeah, I don't know about if Harper will get there, but Harper's like, I mean, he's he's so good. You never know. Yeah, Harper I could don't... still win another MVP or two. Each one of these dudes is capable of like late in their career just to be a DH and smack like forty bombs for like three years. Yeah, like late into the thirties, in my opinion, I th- I think. I don't know. Well, I don't know because we haven't really – I feel like this is a new era where everybody throws so hard on the mound that when guy – like if catching up to the fastball is a problem, then you're probably not going to be able to cut it. And I don't know how that's going to affect them in their late 30s. I have confidence they're going to be able to catch up to anything, but, you know, I just don't know. I don't know. They're. I think they're good enough that they'll be fine. (laughs) Like Those two guys. I think you're probably right. Like, I don't see them unless, like, some major injury or something happens to them. Like, they're, I think they'll be able to keep up. Like, they're pretty I certainly hope so. Baseball uh, players. Yeah. I'm just like, I just want to bring it up as, like, kind of an unknown because it's going to be a little bit different than when guys like Chipper Jones and Big Poppy were in their f- age 40 season. Yeah. And popping off. Like, how much harder can a human being throw? Then like, I think it's pretty much cat too. Like how, like obviously just, there's some guys that have hit what like up to 105 ish, but like I don't think you're ever gonna see like 110 mile an hour fastball. And if you do, that guy's only gonna last like 40 innings, yeah. and then he's gonna be done for like years. Like I don't, it's crazy. We're just like seeing guys just go down in record time with Tommy John's. Like it seems like every week there's a new pitcher who's getting Tommy John surgery. So it really does. It's a little it really bit worrisome. Does. And like I, I don't I don't think that we'll see guys throwing 110 or anything like that, but I do think maybe I mean we just see more guys pumping 102. It's gonna become or something. Pitcher enhancement era. That's what we're gonna get to. Yeah. That's what's gonna Five be. Years guys of- be like, oh man, oh this guy's a good pitcher, but he only throws 92. And we have this guy over here that throws 101. It's like, well, how do I get to how do I get it? How do I up it? <laughs> yeah. See, how do I hit? How do I get healthy enough to play every day to hit 70 home runs? I don't know. Things happen. For real. <laughs> Things do happen. Baseball doesn't and have the best of- reputation <laughs> in situations like that. <laughs> no, definitely not. But speaking of like 102, and one of those guys who's hit 105 is Jordan Hicks. And he's a starter now. He had a good start. And he, very good start. I think he starts tonight. Very good start. I would I would like to watch that. Is that tonight or was it yesterday? That's where I saw his name. I don't know, but that was a good start. It's going I wonder when Blake Snell's gonna make his first start. Yeah, I don't know. I mean who knows? The Giants don't even know, maybe. I like I already forgot that he even signed there. 
No <laughs> one's talked about it. No <laughs> one at all has talked about it. But I think um, – can we expect starts like that from Jordan Hicks? I mean, of course he's going to give up runs, but consistently <laughs> going five innings? Five, six innings all year maybe? I don't know. I feel like maybe 140 innings is maybe his cap. The year. Yeah, I don't know. Like I wasn't going into the year expecting a ton from him, but like innings. I wasn't either, but yeah, I, I wasn't either. But after that start, I mean, it's hard to say like one start could change something, but that's a hell of a opening start. Yeah, who we'll was, see. I mean, we'll see what he does. Start. I think he's against San Diego tonight, so we'll see how that goes. But I like Jordan Hicks. I liked watching him last year. I mean, I still feel like he would have been the perfect piece at the back end of the Jays bullpen again this year, but he wanted to start. Can't ever blame a guy for like going somewhere where he's going to get the opportunity for to do what he would prefer to do. I don't think yeah, the Jays would have had him starting if they brought him back. But yeah, probably not. No. No. But good for him. Good for him. That's a good start. And what could be a solid, what could end up being a solid rotation? It's yeah, you're right. That NL West is going to be fun to watch. Yeah, like Arizona came out of the gates crazy, like crazy. Like I mean, they were playing Colorado that first series, but you know, when you have what it's a, like, a 14 run inning in the first game of the yeah. year, that's it, it. Kind of sucks. Like when you're early off in the year and you open up with a team like Colorado, it's like, you're damned if you do damned if you don't, because if you don't win, you're just like, wow, they're washed. <laughs> they can't even beat the Rockies. But if they win, they're just like, it's just the, just the Rockies. It doesn't mean anything. So it's like yeah. a lose, lose situation. I think there's a difference between just winning and scoring 16 runs in your first game. <laughs> Facts. Like 16 against anybody is a lot. <laughs> That's a, a lot. lot. A 14 run inning is a ton. Yeah. Four t- 14 run inning is a ton. And the top of that rotation, Arizona looking really, really nice. Zach Gowan looking really, really good. He's had a couple really good starts. Mer- Merrill Kelly with a couple really, really good starts himself. Brandon Fott had a good start to opening the year up as well. Um, yeah. They, it's, they put I mean, together, like, I mean, they did what – what you should do, right? Like you make the world series and you get better, right? Like what fill the, fill in the holes. Uh, Absolutely. And then obviously like hope some guys can repeat what they did last year or improve upon it. I think they're all going to be really motivated. So I like that diamondbacks team. I hope they do well. I still, there's something about them and maybe it's just the fact that they're just the diamondbacks and they've kind of had, I mean, they, whatever they won when they had like the best one, two starting pitching of all time. But, um, there was, I think it was like 2018. They had one of those like big time collapses. They had like, they were like five games in the playoffs and then just like blew it in the last month of the year. There's something about the Diamondbacks that like, I just never fully trust it. So we'll see where it all shakes out at the end of the year, especially with San Francisco being, should be better than last year. And obviously the Dodgers are like greatest yeah, team they're gonna, potentially I mean, they're of all time. Vlad, strike it yeah. out again. You bum. Golden sombrero for Vlad, I think today. Yikes! And um, and the Padres, I mean, they're not like great. I don't think. I don't think they're going to be great. But they got a couple guys doing all right. I mean, I think. Dude, did you see that bomb that Tatis hit off of Tyler Rogers? Um. Yeah, the one that looked like he just flicked it out there, and somehow it went over yeah. the fence. Yeah. Yeah. Crazy. What a crazy bomb. Like he's coming for just it. Just wild, man. I hope so. I don't think he's really done much besides that, but he's got oh, like three he, homers. He's, he's got he? three. Yeah, he's got three. Yeah, yeah he had he's a two three. home run game. Yeah, it was that game. He had two home runs. I did not know he had another one. Yeah, so he had another good for one. him. And I think it was in a loss, but he has Still at least counts. one more. Still counts. Still counts. I would Still take. Counts. I would Still love counts. for the Blue Jays to hit home runs in the games that they lose, as opposed to just not getting any <laughs> hits and 
True. Been absolutely decimated by the Houston Astros. It's a miracle. It is a miracle we won game two. Like, yeah. It's like, a good win. That was you, a good come from behind win. Down to the last out against Josh Hader. Like, insane. Pretty good. Pretty damn good. You love to see it. You hate to see it if you're the if you're the Astros, but man, yeah. they got swept. They, got, they swept. got swept by the Yankees. Four game, four sweep. game series too. Where they That's had the just, lead in like three of those games, I think like in the sixth or later too, and then they just kind of choked them all away. Yeah, what the hell were they doing in the field too? I saw some of those ridiculous. <laughs> just they had they looked terrible. It was sloppy. It was super sloppy, and it's crazy how their start has been. They have a lot of guys in that lineup mashing. They got a couple of those starters th- just shoving through a no hitter. Christian Javier hasn't given up a run yet. Framber Valdez has an ERA just over two. Four guys in that lineup with an OPS over a thousand. And yet they are two and five. They're two and five. Yeah. Yeah. With all of that, that is crazy. Yeah, I mean that's a team that like they'll go on a big time run at some point. They're that team's just too good not to. Um some teams you just know they'll they'll do it and they'll make it happen. Uh and I think the Astros are one of those teams. They're not they're not pretenders. They're obviously like, you know, no. you have some bad bounces, this and that, but no like, doubt. It's just wild. It's just wild how that how baseball does that. It's just like it takes so much, and yeah. you got all those guys mashing and two and five record. It's just, I think that's w- one reason we all love this sport. Just why crazy you love things it. happen all the time, and why you hate it. I mean, they're in a series against Texas now. Like that could go either way. It could be, you know, two one either way, three zero either way. Like that's a series that really could go. I don't know. That's true. Who knows? That's another. It's. I mean, all actually, you know, all these divisions I think are going to be a dog fight, whether they're super loaded or they're like mediocre. Like the NL Central is going to be a dog fight of like mediocrity. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think <laughs> yeah, actually it maybe except for like the NL East. I think I unless the Mets can figure something out, but the Marlins I think are doomed. The Nationals, the Marlins are done. Aren't going to be They're good. They're so year. done. So I think I think the Phillies will end up being there. Yeah, the Phillies should make the playoffs, but like I don't think there's any competition with the Braves and winning that division. I, like they'd have to have. They're really good. Like not one, like one big injury isn't really going to hurt that team. Even two, probably not. But like you'd have to have like everything go wrong. I think for the Braves. To I do to lose that division or like well. to to miss the playoffs. Like even if they if somehow they have a bad stretch and Philly has a really good stretch, I still think. Like, yeah, I miss. mean they did they did just have kind of a big injury. Sean Murphy's on the IL now with a an oblique. So you know we're just gonna plug Travis Darno back there, who's decent, decent, good enough. I mean we're lucky to have him as a backup catcher. Yep. Or a platoon catcher at that point. He played a lot last year when Sean Murphy was getting banged up and not hitting too well. Just hope that he can. I mean, he's getting up there in age. He's 35. So it's gonna it's gonna be interesting. I still think he he's still a good player. He still hits the ball pretty well from um from his role standpoint. But I think you're right. A couple big injuries is what it would like. A couple big injuries and people slumping for yeah, all at the large same large portions like, of the because like Acuna yeah. hasn't really gotten going yet, and you know he's going to tear it up at some point. Um, yeah, I mean he's striking like, out a little bit more. Like repeating last year is almost impossible. <laughs> They're basically the greatest offense of all time. Yeah, you and cannot I expect it. Oh I, man, and like expectations, I would say are high, but not unobtainable. I think if you, I agree. Like I think they have realistic expectations that like they're 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 going to be good and they should be. And but I don't think people are expecting you know three hundred and fifty home runs or whatever they hit last year. And 
everything. So I don't if they are if people are expecting that they shouldn't be because like hey. it's just what you can't get greedy. I mean, they tied the record for home runs last year. You can't just like how do you 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 just can hope to do that again, maybe hang around that area again, or just maybe I don't know, get a little bit better in other areas. Yeah. While well, the, keeping you know, the offense. The baseball, the the baseball Twitter, the baseball Twitter gremlins are gonna be coming out <laughs> saying all sorts of types of stuff about everybody this year. So who knows? Oh yeah. All I know. Oh yeah. Is that baseball is here and it's a really, really exciting time. I'm super happy for it. Um, oh, me too. The last thing that I want to talk about today is, and the reason why I'm wearing this, if, if you're, if you're not, if you're just listening and not watching, I'm wearing a Phillies hat today is because the Phillies came out and they unveiled officially their city connect uniforms and give me your, give me your initial it's so impression. Bad. It's so bad. Is there anything about it terrible. that you like? I like, I kind of like the hats and like the bell with the skyline logo. I, I think the hats in a vacuum are great. If the hats were just a single hat, nothing attached to it, that's a great hat. But though I just, it's so far removed from what their actual color scheme is that it just does not make sense to me. I mean, there's a few that are like that. Like, I mean, like the, like the Padres is far removed from any team's color scheme. <laughs> True, but it looks it. I just think it looks terrible. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of it either. Like at first glance, I would have to like, I'd almost have to see them in real life, seeing them play in them to like really. That was kind of like how I felt about Seattle. They're so, also just like they're with, also similar to Seattle's jerseys. They are. Blue Jays won. There you go. Chad Green gets the Good save. Um, Good stuff. <laughs> yeah, they, they. I know people are like, oh, the Philadelphia Mariners. It's kind of funny. Um, <laughs> yeah. Because when I saw the pictures of the Mariners City Connects, like their royal blue kind of with the black and stuff that they have, I was like, I don't know how I feel about these. And then I saw them wear them in real life and got to see them play in them. And I was like, okay, these actually, it's like a lot nicer in person. And I'm getting that same kind of initial reaction with these Phillies ones. I'm just like, ah, I, these city connects. I'm like, we'll see how the rest of them come out this year. Cause like they're, they've been really like hit or miss on almost all of them. I think like they're, yeah. they give a lot of like very kind of visceral reactions. Kind of, <laughs> it seems like people, have, people really have opinions, but I think most of them aren't great. I would say there's some that I like, but like, I don't really like Baltimore's or Pittsburgh's um, who, who, in your opinion, who's like, who's, which one do you like the most? I really like Chicago's the white Sox, the black with South the, side was yeah. really good. I like the black, uh, the black reds one. I actually like the San Diego ones, to be honest. They're not my favorite, but I think they're okay. And yeah, they're, that scheme is nothing like their actual team scheme, but the actual design looks good yeah. to me. I think if you're going, I think if you're going not with your color scheme, you got to go like light colors, if that makes sense. And maybe I was just expecting a little bit something closer. I, I was expecting something really, really cool from the Phillies that was along their color scheme. And so maybe that's why. I hate them so much is because they're nothing like that, but I just don't think that they look great. Yeah. It's weird. Um, it's a weird. Look, I don't know. I don't like the Colorado Rockies. I don't like their ones. Oh, those, I think the green kind of like mountain scape. Yeah. I'm not, <laughs> yeah. not a fan, not a fan. Um, what about yours? What, who have you my favorite, favorite is probably the diamondbacks. Like it's just that cream, Ooh, yeah. that kind of like sand cream colored, like with the serpentines. I think that one's really yeah. good. I really like that one. The Diamondbacks uniforms. Actually, I, you know what? I would say I don't. I'm not a big fan of the changes they made this year from like seeing them because usually I really like Diamondbacks, and I, I don't think they really needed to switch much up. 
Wait a minute. They switched up their City Connect or? No, no, no. Just their regular jerseys. Sorry. Their regular jerseys. Like they? they switched all of them this year. Like All of their jerseys are different than they were last year. They're like the same colors and like fonts and things like that, but they're just slightly different kind of. There's a lot of teal piping on some of them. They have like these like maroon helmets that they wear with this one jersey. I don't know. I just like usually I'm a big fan of what they're doing and I like the color schemes that they use. But I don't know. I I, I like their City Connect a lot, though. There's their City um, Connect is really nice. Who else is? I'm trying to think of all of them. I would like the Braves a little bit more, but it's it's so similar to the throwback that I'm just like, I wish it was something different. Yeah, the Braves, it's hard to tell that it's even like different. I like the Nationals exactly. one. It's kind of weird that they're getting rid of them after. I think they said they're going to use them this year and then they're done with them. It's like that's lame. Theirs were kind of nice. Are like, they the going to have like a different stuff. city connect or something? Like, uh, I, I, don't I, don't, I don't know. I don't think the Yankees will even have one. Yeah, but I would actually really enjoy seeing one. They should. I would really enjoy seeing one. That would be. I think it'd be cool. Oh, what? Because there's a bunch. Yeah. Of, I mean, a bunch of teams are getting them this year. Nine teams, I think, like St. Louis, uh, Minnesota. I think I gotta look it up. Ooh, the Dodgers think, are getting a second one. Um, I think uh, Minnesota's could be sneaky yeah. good. Guardians, Tigers, Dodgers, Twins, Mets, Phillies, Cardinals, Rays, and the Blue Jays, which I'm like so nervous for. Nice. So nervous nice. and excited, but nervous. Start to get excited. Be excited. I'm not I don't know if you know me. like every as far as like the kind of what's the word I'm looking for? I'm not a I'm not a very superstitious person. Um, but I don't know the the Blue Jays wear red jerseys a couple times a year, usually on Canada Day, which is July 1st. And then like sometimes there's like one or two other days that they'll wear a red, red jersey. And it seems like in the last like 10 years, we always lose when we're wearing them. Interesting. So they are like the cursed jerseys and Blue Jays fandom is just like, no, I hate it. And I have this weird feeling. I actually I think they look really good, but we just don't play seem to play well when we're wearing them. Um so I think a lot of people are like first city connects this year. They're like, no red, no red. So we'll see. <laughs> we'll see what happens. But I have a feeling it's going to be some sort that of is, kind of I'm mess. superstitious too. And uh, there was this one year where the Braves, it was either uh, they lost every Monday game or something. So they started wearing high socks and they started winning every Monday game. I don't remember specifically, but it had something to do with those two things. And it was hilarious how like superstitious I was and how the team is, how the team was, which was dope. I mean, baseball players are famous for being superstitious, so it's fun to see that. And now hopefully we do like see them go the opposite and do something that's not red for your Blue Jays. But if they do, what if it's what if they start winning then? We'll have because to they see. switch it. We'll have yeah. to see. Who knows? They're they're revealing it. On, I think, May 30th, they put out a tweet or whatever, like, the reveal May 30th, and the debut is the next day. So it's, like, literally, like, here they are, and the next day they're wearing them for the first time. So I think that's how it should be, almost. I, I'm it, Especially if they're not going to change anything. But, like, if the, public's, if the public doesn't like it or does like it, if you're not going to change anything, why release it a month before? Just do it the day before. I think that could be fun or funny, but maybe I'm in the minority there. <laughs> I got to think see myself all of this the, stuff has been like decided for a while because you got to like make all this merch that goes along with it, not just the jerseys themselves. Uh, and we all know like <laughs> the jerseys and fanatics have had some issues. Like I've, I've heard there's like certain teams that can't even get certain colors of their jerseys yet because I heard they that been too. able to ship them out and stuff. Um, That's embarrassing. That's so embarrassing yeah, if you're fanatics. Like, yeah, you would think you would have things ready for the beginning of the season, but nope, just enough. Everybody's, I mean, nobody's worn, I think, too much besides kind of their base jerseys for lots of teams. So, I mean, it's early. We're what eight, eight games in, seven or eight games in. So, yeah, very, very early. It's been fun so far. Been fun. Like, it's it's already going by quickly. Oh yeah. 
We're going to have a lot to talk about this year, man. A lot to yes, talk we about. Are. Uh, I love it. Anything else to finish it off today? Unfortunately, Yuri Perez out with Tommy oh, John. So brutal. That Marlins rotation. Sucks. It's too bad. What was once their strength is now just now gone. they have no strengths. <laughs> No, <laughs> they, I don't they really have know. no strength. They got, man. they got nothing. They it's got so Tanner, bad. Tanner like Scott got, in the bullpen. <laughs> got uh, Jake Burger. Jake Burger hit two home runs yesterday, so maybe he's starting to hit a little bit. Yeah. Didn't jazz. I mean, can we get a full season of Jazz just to just to see what we get? Just to see what just we get. See. And are they going to be sellers? Probably. But who yeah. are they going to sell? I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. Neither do I. We will find out soon, my friend. We'll find out soon. Yes, we will. Yes, we will. What about you? Anything else? No, I think that's it for now. I'm just excited to keep watching. Hopefully, <laughs> I mean, I just want the Blue Jays to start playing better. We're four and yeah. four. Somehow we're 500. And I was saying there since the go. start of this, if we can if we can go five and five on this 10 game road trip against Tampa, Houston and New York to start the season, I'll be fine with that. So that's the goal. Go one and one in the next two yeah. games and then whatever. Then we go back yes, home sir. and uh, who knows what happens after that. It's going to be exciting to see them in, uh, in at home. Like I'm ready. The Rogers center. I saw some pictures cause they did a bunch of renovations they did a whole bunch last year in the outfield, and then this year was all like the lower level in the infield changed up. So I'm excited to see there you go. what it looks like on TV. That's cool. Pictures look good. That's pretty but sick. Yeah. Let's go baseball. Good stuff. Everybody, Let's go baseball. We appreciate you all. We're back. I know it's been like almost two weeks yeah. since we did this, but we'll be back. And the more baseball there yeah. is, the more times we're going to talk. All right, That's everyone. right. Deuces. Bye. Peace out. Enjoy your teams. Good stuff, dude.